Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I use a mask to create the illusion of a rotating globe. Pretty simple to make, but uh, first let's grab our oval tool and a solid color fill here. I don't have any outline selected. and I'm just going to hold down shift and draw out, draw out a big circle like this. You can use any color, but I'm going to just use blue for now. Um, okay, so now the next thing we want to do is create a new layer. And in my library, I already have a graphic um, containing some artwork that uh, of the continents of our of our world here. Uh, so I'm just going to put this down right here on the timeline and drop it over off to the side like this. Okay. So now all I'm going to do is motion tween this across the stage. I've got about 134. Uh, frames here um, and you can have as many uh, you know you can have as many frames as you need uh, depending on your frame rate I'm working at a frame rate here of 30 frames per second so uh, let's first add the tween and I right click and select create classic tween and then in the second keyframe I'm going to hold down the shift key and drag this symbol across here holding down the shift key will constrain it along this axis and so now what we have is we'll just this moving set of continents here across our, our globe. So now here's where the mask, uh, and so now here's where the mask comes in. So I want to create a mask so that you can, that you only see the continents moving uh, within the circle. So I want to create a mask that is the same size and shape as the circle that we created. So I'm going to just copy it. I'm going to right click over it, select copy from the pop-up menu. I'm going to start uh, locking some of these layers and create a new layer and I'm going to right click over the stage and just select paste in place. Now for illustration purposes I'm just going to change the color um, to orange. This is going to be our mask and I'm going to right click over the layer over here near the to the right of the name the layer name and I'm going to select mask. Now you'll see flash by default has assigned the layer below it to be masked so it's basically assigned to the mask layer here. And um, so now if we scrub, and it's automatically locked the layers too, you will see the mask take effect when the layers are locked. When they're unlocked, you'll see the, uh, you'll see outside the mask area. So let's keep them locked and we can see what we're doing. And you can see how, um, again, it's not a full 3D um, globe, but it's just the illusion. It, it creates a very small file size and provides the illusion that uh, this is 3D. But to help sort of emphasize that this is a round object, right now it looks a little too flat, I'm going to create one more layer. And I'm going to, uh, again, right click over the stage, select paste in place. We still have um, the shape in our clipboard and memory. Now I'm going to go to the color panel here. Let's pull this out for a bit. And what I want to do is create a radial gradient. What we want to do is suggest uh, sort of some light and shadow and, and provide the illusion that this is a 3D object. So uh, the first, I'm going to have three swatches. The first swatch here all the way to the left is going to be um, just 0% alpha, just a complete transparent color. Okay, this is the center of the gradient. And here along the edge in the middle, off to the right, I'm going to have a darker color. I'm going to have some alpha mixed in with it. Okay. I'm, I'm picking like a bluish tone here. Maybe go a little darker. And then um, this tone all the way out here to the right, this color is a, a bit lighter of a blue. And the alpha is brought down to about 10, between 10 and 15%. Somewhere in there is fine. And then all we have to do is grab the bucket tool, fill the shape, and... And actually, our gradient's really, really big. Sometimes if this happens, um, just magnify the stage or demagnify the stage. Just zoom out as much as you can, and you'll see these handles. Sometimes this happens when you're applying um, a gradient to a shape that already has a gradient. Uh, so using these handles, we can shrink that gradient down to the appropriate size it should be. So let me zoom back in. Like so. And now here you can start to see this the effect that we're after. I'm going to rotate this simply to get the most the the transparent 
center, off center here, by default it should be about here in the center, and I'm going to move it up there. The cool thing is, is the, the, as you can see when I grab the handles here, that the gradient itself is uh, slightly larger than the shape. And you can play around with it um, based on your own needs. What we want to achieve is this shadow line here, and that's this color, the, our middle color here. Um, and this being lighter and a little, with a little bit more alpha transparency will create this effect here uh, along this edge, which suggests that there's light coming from the other side. And this, was, this is what really um, emphasizes the roundness of an object. And if we want, we can uh, exaggerate this a little bit more. So let's decrease the amount of transparency to about there. And we can even slide these a little bit, the, uh, the swatches. You can see how it, um, in real time, will update the gradient itself. So that works. And we can lock this layer and play back the animation. You can see it just feels a little bit more realistic, just by nature of uh, the, the radial gradient that we just added. So, um, And there you have it. There's a, a, a faux rotating 3D globe in Flash using a mask.